What's up, Demolisha? I ran four miles. No matter what the time was, I, well, I didn't run, I, I jogged four miles. Well, I traveled four miles. 290 calories. All right. I'm doing this really fun thing called a dirty bulk. Dirty bulk is where you can eat whatever you want. You're not eating clean. Like you're not eating like, you know, really low fat, high protein foods. You're just eating everything. And ideally you're going for high protein, but it's fine if you get high fat as well. So it's really fun. Cause I can literally eat everything. Anything that has protein in it, I'm down. Because I'm trying to gain weight really fast. I mean, I guess I'm trying to gain muscle really fast, but if you allow fat to come with it, you can gain muscle faster than if you try to clean bulk. So I've never actually done this in my life. I am dirty bulking. I started at the start of 2020 in January at probably like 185 pounds. That's usually what I weighed. And then I kind of was clean bulking for like the first most of the year until like two months ago and I got up to like 193 and then like two months ago I decided I'm a dirty bulk and now I'm up to 203 in two months I've gained 10 pounds <laughs> a lot of it's right here but it's fine it's fine it's fine so my plan is to dirty bulk through fall and maybe winter I want to get up to 215 pounds so I've got what do I say 203 pounds so I got 12 pounds left and then I want to cut back down to 200. So I'll continue working out, but then I'll start eating super clean, no fat, I mean low fat, and get all the way down to 200 and be a lean, mean 200 pounds, fighting weight. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I'll let you know how it goes. Right now, I'm fat and happy. I need this. And we need to go to the abandoned mansion. Oh, we did it. Uh, I needed this, because this is jumper cables. And the Bobcat's dead. Putting those new cables to use, check that out. Good to go. Mission accomplished. We are also here at the Bandit Mansion for a little concrete pour. So you can see we added concrete onto the porch there. We added about four feet. The porch was about 10 feet deep. And so we added four more feet to it just to extend everything out. Give us a lot more room because we're gonna have table, chairs, maybe a little cook area up there. And then we are going to build a roof over here. So it's all gonna be covered. Really nice little area over there so we can hang out, entertain, that kind of thing. But the abandoned mansion is coming along well. I decided to just make this in a regular vlog because this video wasn't, there wasn't enough happening that it needed to be an entire abandoned mansion video about it. So you got a little sneak peek at the mansion. Full episodes coming soon when like more happens all at once than just us pouring a little forfeit section. Oh, you guys haven't seen the shirt. This is our Veterans Day shirt. Thank you to all of our veterans. We are doing a little fundraiser. This is going to Fisher House Foundation. We're gonna donate $5 for every one of these shirts that we sell to Fisher House Foundation. They help set up homes for veterans and veteran families who are in the hospital, um, just to save a lot of money for the veterans and the families who are going through all the treatments and stuff like that. So, Fisher House Foundation, link in the description below. $5 from every one of these shirts will go to them. Goodbye, Bandy Mansion. It's been real, we'll see you soon. 
I got a package. Let's see what's in it. Oh, also, my little switchblade here. I've decided I don't like carrying it as an everyday knife. Uh, because it has two blades, double blade. What do you call it? It has a blade on both sides. It's sharp on both edges. Double edge. <laughs> got it. Which is not great for a work knife. Because a lot of times I want to press down on it and I just catch myself doing that and probably going to cut myself eventually. It's fun to play with. It's like an adult fidget spinner. Probably not what I'm going to keep for my work knife. I got something in the mail. I ordered it. <laughs> Ready? Whoa! <laughs> Check me out! No big deal. I ordered a fire suit for racing. Because <laughs> I'm a race car driver. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to be entering in the Cletus McFarlane 2.5 hour Le Mullet race. I got a large. I feel like I should have got an extra large. This thing's snug. Maybe they're supposed to be snug? I can't remember. Uh, so I'm gonna be racing Crown Vicks in Florida with Cletus McFarlane. And I have a helmet from when I had the Ultra 4. I've got all the like underwear, like fire stuff, and socks and shoes, boots from when I did the uh, Baja 1000. But I borrowed a fire suit when I did that race. So I, I ordered me a fire suit. It was like, it wasn't crazy expensive. Like, 250 300 bucks or something, but it had good reviews it's supposed to be a good fire rating. So anyway Went with red for America. Also donut operator is gonna be my co-driver. He's getting blue I think for America. We're gonna look so good. I'm gonna actually go show the family right now Mary's gonna love it. Why are you wearing that? I'm a race car driver No, you're not. Well, I'm gonna be. No, you're not. I can be anything I want to be. Oh, uh, where do you get that? I ordered it because I am going to be in a race soon. Car race. Why? It's a fireproof suit. Why? So I don't catch on fire. Oh, you catch on fire. Exactly. It's totally not needed. It'll be fine. Hi, Dad. Where did you get that? Hello. <gasps> you look weird. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. What? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire suit for the race. The Cletus race. Oh hey, but here's the deal. I didn't actually come to show it to you necessarily to get your reaction. I can't get it off because it's a size too small and now I'm stuck in it. Can you help me? What? I think I'm gonna have to order a bigger one. It's a large, but I don't know if you've known, but I've gained a lot of weight recently. So I don't fit in this large very well. Like I can't sit. Notice when I'm zipped up and I sit. Oh, I get really tight. <laughs> I, I won't be able to do it. So I just need, I just need help. The problem is, I can't get this anywhere. My shoulders are so big. <laughs> Come on, get it! <laughs> like, I could never get out of this by myself. <laughs> you could beat me up right now if you wanted. I'm locked in this thing. There we go. Thanks. You're a pal. Anyway, I think this one might be too small. I would say so. So, I just texted Donut Operator to see if he wants a large, and I'll get, I'll get an extra large for me. It's very snug. Ugh. Anyway, I got a race coming up. If you guys want to watch it, uh, it's a live pay-per-view event. You have to go to Cletus' channel, check out how to actually get it. But you can watch us race live. We'll all be vlogging as well, but the vlogs won't come out for like a week or two after the race. Mary, Mary help. <laughs> I can't get on my feet. All right, thanks for watching Off the Ranch. I love you. I guess I'm just gonna be like this for a while. See you next time! Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare!